small interaction and uh, as a teacher i'll be very happy if i have interaction from the audience though i know it is an online medium i just have an image and i know many of you will be surprised why exactly i have got uh, the image of mangoes many might be feeling it's the season of mangoes must be that's why today's speaker has got mangoes i also have another image that i would like to share with you and uh, feel free to feel free to use the chat box it is available what exactly you understand from the two images that i have tried to show you on the screen so simple request please use the chat box and uh, you can share yeah good yes okay beautiful i mean yeah good so there are some important observations which are coming up see now one image to my left shows a tree a mango tree having too many mangoes and one more image on my right shows a mango tree having a single single uh, mango see when you have to collect mangoes from the tree which has too many mangoes things are very easy but when you have to collect or when you have to pluck the mango from this single i mean a tree having a single mango it will be a very tedious job it will be a very difficult job so when you start applying the same to homeopathy as a homeopathy practice tree it shows or it gives us a variety of remedies very rarely we get a remedy which is all alone so occasionally we also get single remedy rubric but majority of the times we get a rubric having many many remedies now when we have too many remedies the probable possibility with we prescriber is we get too confused a single symptom having so many rubrics how do i arrive at a similimum can be a big confusion at the same time when we have a rubric with a single remedy many times we homeopaths we practitioners we hesitate to prescribe now why do we hesitate when it is a single remedy rubric why do we hesitate is a question that comes up so in today's session i'll be focusing on a very important topic and that topic will be utility of single remedy rubric in acute diseases so this will be the topic and uh, i have some objectives next 40 minutes what exactly as a learner or as a participant what exactly you will expect from this session is my session objectives so first objective will be to explore the utility of single remedy rubric in acute cases and we'll also look at the advantages and disadvantages of using single remedy rubric and third very important thing is all the concepts will be explained with few cases so this is what i have planned for today and before i go into the details of the session i would like to take the blessings of this great man who discovered this divine system homeopathy coincidentally it is also his death day so seeking blessings from this great man and dedicating this small webinar to this great master see dr haniman sir introduced homeopathy but my understanding of homeopathy was better after i met this great man dr proful vijaykar sir 
So I would like to take the blessings of uh, Dr. Haniman and Dr. Vijaykar sir, and I'll be moving further. So Vijaykar sir has played a very important role in my journey of becoming a homeopath. So gratitude to sir, and we will straight away start with a case. Now before I start a case, I would like to thank all my patients, especially those patients who have given me permission to share their history and few patients were also generous in giving small video clips sharing their experiences what happened after our medication. So gratitude, respect to my patients and uh, we will straight away start with a simple case. And as requested, chat box is kept open. I'll be narrating the case. And uh, you know, you can uh, just give your observation, your rubrics, or your thought, what exactly you understand when the case is narrated. See, we had this uh, lady, an elderly lady. This is case one. An elderly lady who presented to me with vertigo. So this is the small situation. What is the situation? We had an elderly lady who presented to me with bad vertigo. Now, how do you go about? What rubrics or what questions you would like to ask this elderly lady? I'll also show you a small follow-up video. But this lady had difficulty in walking. She was, uh, you know, held by her husband with a lot of uh, difficulty, you know, she entered my cabin. Okay, Dr. Pavitra says, loss of balance in life, done, good. See, it's an acute case. And uh, I hope, uh, very good. Dr. Vinod has a question, since when? That's a beautiful question. See, whenever you are dealing with acutes, aphorism number five, there is a guidelines given by Dr. Hanuman, and Dr. Hanuman says, try to understand the exciting cause or try to form an acute totality, which is very, very important. So now what you need to understand is, as rightly told by a few of our uh, friends, since when, which position the vertigo is more or, uh, you know, what are all the other reasons? So small things you have asked, beautiful, good. So my question to this uh, elderly lady is, since when you have uh, vertigo? And she said, uh, sir, uh, you know, from morning uh, 5 a.m., from morning 5 a.m., I have vertigo. So anything else you would like to ask? She says, morning 5 a.m. So you understand? What happened before 5 a.m.? As Dr. Vaishnavi has rightly asked, what is the cause or what is the event that led to vertigo? So we asked this lady, what happened at 5 a.m.? Meaning what exactly happened? See, 4, 4.30, she gets a call from her daughter-in-law telling her son had severe chest pain and he's been admitted to hospital. So this is what, this is what the, uh, you know, lady got a call over the phone and after which she starts going into vertigo. Now, how do you, yes, very good. Dr. Sunil says, has she got anything to do with ears? Beautiful, valid question. But what is very important for you is, is, is she got call at, uh, you know, 4, 4.30 and then she starts with vertigo. So Dr. Charlie is talking about ailments from, beautiful, very good. Somebody, I don't know whose name it is. They say ailments from hearing bad news. Good, very good. Okay, now ailments from hearing bad news, beautiful. So yeah, was her BP normal? BP was absolutely normal. She did not have any uh, noise. You know, we also ruled out manias. Okay, we also ruled out manias. So can it be gelsemium? Somebody has asked, can you, I mean, somebody has told bad news, gelsemium. Good. Dr. Pranav from Mumbai, nice interpretation. 
Now, what is very important? What is very important? Okay, what she felt after listening to the news? Good, that is also a possible question. Okay. So, she gets a call that her son is admitted or her son has been taken to the hospital and after which she starts with, she starts with vertigo. So, this news, you know, when I asked her what you felt and this was the, the expression the patient gave was, sir, I mean, this is something that I did not expect, fine. So, we were trying to understand, was it a shock or was it something else? So, this lady, you know, what she felt was, you know, it was more of a bad news for her. Sir, I did not expect this news at that hour and I am old, expecting my son getting admitted to a hospital with chest pain. So, the ailments that were taken was ailments from bad news. Now, the next uh, million dollar question will be ailments from bad news, beautiful. Somebody has got the rubric right, Dr. Santosh Kumar, absolutely right. So, what is the rubric that we have taken is vertigo bad news from. And the topic today is utility of single remedy rubric in acutes. So morning 5, she gets a call and I sit in my clinic in the evening. So she gets back in the evening to me. And you know, it's an acute uh, episode. So the remedy given was Kelkere Kaab. So I told you the lady, old lady had to be held to get into my chamber. Now, uh, with her permission, I have the small video. So there is no audio, sir. There is no audio. Okay, yeah. one second. I really don't know how to... Okay, one second. Share with audio option. Yeah, one second. I'll just see. <clears throat> okay. Can somebody help me like how exactly? One second. Let me just see how to fix this problem. I think you can go by screen share. Uh, share a screen with audio. Yeah, one second, sir. Sk uh, share screen with audio. One second. One second. Share sound. Share sound. One second. Share sound. There is an option. Yes, that may be. Okay. So I have clicked that. Let me know if you are able to hear. She is speaking in Malayalam. And, uh, is it audible now? Yes, good. <laughs> is it audible? Yes, sir, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done, done, done. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'll just play the video again. Okay, yeah. Is it audible? Yes, sir, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done, done, done. Okay, thank you. I am not sure if you are 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 this ailment from bad news, which organ it affected? Now, this is what you need to understand. She landed up with vertigo and that's why the remedy or that's why the rubric vertigo after bad news was taken and uh, congratulations to Santos sir for getting it right. Now, we'll uh, quickly look at another small case and uh, I am confident you people can answer. It's a very simple case. From the image taken from Google, you know, what is my next uh, case that I'm going to discuss here. So this is a case of uh, constipation, case of constipation. And uh, we had a gentleman, see, please remember, whenever you are dealing, dealing with acutes, always have this in your, in your mind, ailments will become very, very important, okay? And the rubric taken was from synthesis, fine? 
Okay. So we'll just have a look at uh, this small case and we'll go further. As you see, I had one 62 year old man who came to me with uh, bad constipation. Again, I'll keep this question open to you. Uh, I am liking the interaction. It's very important as a teacher. You know, is it will be a beautiful uh, thing when you start interacting. So how do we go about? 62 year old man comes to me telling, sir, I have uh, bad constipation. So what do we do? What do we do is, yeah, very good. Now you got the idea, you know what exactly we need to ask. So we asked him the same question, since when you have constipation? See, this gentleman had uh, a renal calculi. And unfortunately, the stones were stuck in the ureter. They did send me the scan report. I told, no, you can get the patient. Let me see what best I can do. But the family decided after consulting the uh, surgeon that they will go for surgery and he underwent lithiotripsy. So kidney stones were broken, it got dissolved. But unfortunately, this gentleman landed up, landed up with constipation. So how do we go about? He was never constipated, okay? After that lithiotripsy, which was done, he gets constipated. Okay, Dr. Kiran, absolutely right. I like the speed, beautiful, keep it up. So we'll just listen to the follow Again, uh, thanks to the patient for the uh, problem. Uh, 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 this kidney is stone Canada, surgery, but, uh, luckily, constipation start. Okay. Motion is tight. Mm -hmm. and, uh, actually, 15 days again, uh, and the next to uh, Jay Krishna doctor. Mm -hmm. And uh, one medicine is Okay. At the one, three days the one, the one, the one, the control mm -hmm. the I am normal. You can motion so motion motion again. Correct. Again. Correct. Correct. So it's a small case and as you see he suffered for 15 days. He was on laxatives. Unfortunately, he continued to be constipated. So we took this rubric and uh, the rubric that was taken, many of the audience have got it right. Yeah, so the rubric Problem taken again from Sindhu. Yeah, it is also there in Kara. Uh, yeah, it is there in the complete number. And the rubric we are taken was rectum constipation operation after. And the single remedy that comes up is opium. And opium was prescribed and uh, you saw the follow-up just now. So we look at a uh, few more small cases so that you understand how beautifully a single remedy rubric can be helpful in day in and day out practice. So from the image again, you know what I'm trying to target, what I'm trying to look at. I'll be sharing a small case of a lady who had uh, say dose in all these cases. For example, calcarea, I have used 200. Opium again, I have used 200. Sorry, I forgot to mention the dose. Uh, next case onwards, I'll also try to mention the dose, but uh, single dose was given. This is what I've learned from uh, my guru, Vijay Karsar. You know, acutes 200 or 1 um, single dose, it does wonders. So we had another uh, lady, you know, uh, an elderly lady, again, 50, 52. See, she complains of pain in knee. This is a little tricky because keeping 52 years in mind, Many of us will start worrying, what could this be? Now the simple question as always, we ask what or since when the knee started hurting, since when the knee started paining. So she had a fall in the bathroom. She had a fall in the bathroom and after which her knee started hurting, okay? And many of us uh, jump into a remedy. And you know, what is that remedy? we all think of is, we generally think of Arnica, okay? Fine, we think of Arnica, yeah. Uh, Dr. Santosh uh, is talking of Ruta, fine, injury. So there is a rubric and there's a beautiful remedy. As a material teacher, the knowledge of material medica becomes very handy in helping uh, patients. So a simple rubric, it's an acute case, she had a fall, and she had a fall on her knee 
and after which right absolutely right okay congratulations so the rubric taken was extremities pain knee after a fall and the remedy is sticta see don't think of arnica don't think of ruta fall to the knee and then pain it is only sticta and only sticta beautiful remedy okay now this is again an interesting case we had a gentleman who presented is a 40 plus old gentleman a known patient of mine he presented with the sadness and no interest to do anything see till now we were talking about some physical ailments now we are looking at see now uh, uh, one dr pranav is asking who the author is the author is uh, I, I mean this is there in fortex material america and the potency used was 200 and single dose fine dr smitha okay so we'll get back to another interesting case we had a 40 year old gentleman who presented with sadness no interest to do anything okay now again now you know the pulse what is the next question we ask we ask is since when since when you are feeling sad since when you have no interest to do anything is the question that comes up okay so the question was this and uh, you know this gentleman says sir he had visited a psychiatrist who had prescribed him some and uh, antidepressants and he was not better so he got back to me for the same problem so one simple question since when you are feeling sad you know since when you are feeling sad sir since last 15 days last 10 days anything so now immediately what you ask is what happened that 15 days back see in this gentleman story or in this gentleman's history he lost his mother okay he lost his mother done so after losing his mother he has become sad he has become uh, you know i mean he's not having any interest in life so how do you convert this situation into a rubric yes I like the speed. Many of you are talking of Ignatia, Acid Phosphoricum. Beautiful, good. It's a new learning. It's a new rubric. And I hope uh, many of you will enjoy using this rubric in your practice in future. There are many uh, answers that has come up, but Dr. Esh has the right answer. And what is that right answer is? Right answer is, I mean, see, you are all talking about Ignatia. You are talking about Acid Phos. Ignatia has its own, uh, you know, its own uh, presentation. Acid force will have a lot of weakness, a lot of debility. Then, so when I further interrogated him, why, what happened? This is what he said. He lost his mother. And after which he went to a psychiatrist and psychiatrist diagnosed it as uh, complicated grief and he was prescribed a set of medicines. Please listen to the follow-up of the patient, what happened after our homeopathic medicine, and then we'll get back to the medicine that was prescribed. So all yes to this man. Uh, for this what patient. problems your doctor? I came to the Vijay Krishna doctor for after my mother's death. I was not, uh, mentally I was not uh, feeling better. Mm -hmm. uh, what I found out was it could be complicated grief, which uh, was feeling uh, kind of sadness was there in the mind. Mm -hmm. A uh, lot of mental problems, mental issues were there. I was not interested in any of the things. Mm -hmm. So all these problems, I came uh, to the doctor. I got cured. Mm -hmm. I took medicine from the doctor and got cured. After that... So the sadness, no sleep issues? No, no, no issues now. Mm -hmm. I don't have any problem now. Mm -hmm. That's all. So we are focusing on a single remedy rubric and that's why I congratulate Dr. Esh for coming up with the right answer. The right answer taken from the uh, repertory synthesis Mind ailments from death of loved ones, parents or friends of mother, meaning, you know, death of mother. And then if there are issues, the remedy is AMN, RM, RM, URM, NETO, NETO. Okay, AMN. Generally, we use this for fibroids as a pathological prescription. But, uh, you know, as a teacher, 
as a clinician you should have that zeal to uh, do the research to experiment with new remedies new rubrics so luckily got the right rubric and this gentleman felt better okay now we have another uh, interesting case see this old man okay had uh, uh, had sleeplessness ignore the image it has already come the video but we had an el elderly male patient who presented to me with uh, sleeplessness now how do we proceed see same same or you know same question that you can ask since when you feel since when you are feeling sleepless see if you look into our repertory the chapter on sleep there are various sub rubrics present sleeplessness in old sleeplessness without cause sleeplessness out of emotions etc etc so this gentleman underwent a surgery on his left leg he had some issues with the uh, he had some cellulitis and issues with his veins so they operated so after operation he could not sleep mind you after operation he could not sleep not because of pain he was given the best pain killers the issue was not pain if it is because of pain you have got different remedies now my interpretation i hope many of you would have got it by now is yeah dr sai he has got it right and uh, dr mahima has got the remedy right dr rakesh has got it right so beautiful the remedy here again is stikta then stikta stikta so see important is when you give a remedy giving a remedy is not a big deal now when you give a remedy how our homeopathic remedies are acting on the patient and what good or how much good our remedies are doing that also becomes very important that's why follow up becomes important so this gentleman surgery has been there nijam bartha illa okay doctor gave it and report and our man nijam bartha ऑपरेशन single remedy stikta and stikta did wonders in this patient okay we we'll look at another case a 9 year old girl was brought to my clinic by her mother with a peculiar problem and what was that peculiar problem was she is not able to pass stools fine so again a small interrogation small understanding why this 9 year old girl is not able to pass stools so when i asked this girl why you are not able to pass stool the girl told uncle uh, you know not that i am not able to pass stool but but this stool that i passed yesterday was was very painful though i am having an urge i am holding it i am not passing stools because it reminds me of the pain i had in the uh, 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 you know when i passed last so how do you convert this situation into a rubric Yeah, Dr. Sunil Paul has got the remedy right. Dr. Sai has got the remedy right. But my question to you is, reaching the remedy. Good, absolutely right, Dr. Sunil. I'm happy with your speed, Dr. Sai, Dr. Pranav. Great, great interaction. But my question is, how do you convert this into a rubric? What did the girl tell? Uncle, I am afraid of of the pain. So see the beauty of uh, our repertories. see the stalwarts see the great uh, contributors to homeopathy so nicely they have given under mind there is a rubric fear fear of passing stool on account of pain so our stools are very painful and on account of pain she is not able to pass stools and that is the fear she has single dose of sulfur 200 potency 200 and dose single dose you know next morning she had normal stools this is what a right homeopathic medicine can do very good dr mona has got it right okay so we'll go ahead we we'll look at this beautiful case very nice case so this boy again was brought to my clinic 
and uh, you know night he had uh, bleeding stools so mother rushed him to the uh, surgeon and surgeon examined and told it is a fissure and he requires uh, you know in future he might require surgery but before you listen to the boy telling uh, his follow up what is important for you is see mother had got a pick the anxious mother and the commode was all uh, bloody do you think in fissure the commode will be bloody can i have some quick inputs we have less time i want to give little more i'll take 10 more minutes can can somebody uh, comment yeah very good dr neeraja dr padmini and many of you yeah dr veena see surgeon has diagnosed it as fissures but this boy has more of uh, bleeding so i was again looking at uh, synthesis there is a rubric and even what is that rubric is rectum fissure bleeding okay rectum fissure bleeding and uh, the remedy i prescribed him was cefalenum and many times in acute we are a little apprehensive to prescribe nosod cefalenum <clears throat> 1m single dose was given to this boy and uh, his stools become soft there is no further episodes of bleeding and he beautifully improves so cefalenum 1m was given single dose please focus on this small case what do you see here i appreciate your interaction yes good what do you see here in the image you know a recent case last week he had come he had uh, small uh, eruptions boil like eruptions aptus ulcers under the tongue and under the lip then so how do you look into this very good dr muni lakshmi yeah many of you have got the diagnosis right i'm happy now homeopathically how do we look at this case what is the rubric yes dr rakesh fiery red okay good no issues we'll keep it simple we have different ways of looking at things yes fiery red there could have been some anger i appreciate i'll not look at that that angle right now on this platform but what you need to understand is look at the location where exactly is having those aptus ulcers so go to your repertory and uh, look at this location complete mouth apte tongue under single remedy again is a no sword and it is medorinum i was a little apprehensive to prescribe medorinum so i went into the source book i saw where exactly this rubric is given and this rubric is given by dr clark so i checked the i mean materia medica and dr clark writes small sores pustules canker sores sores on edge tip and under tongue very painful also inside lips and in throat dr clark's materia medica so i prescribed a single dose of medorinum 1m see uh, generally no sores i prescribe 1m in acute or you can go higher also and after 3 days i asked the patient to come back and i hope i hope you appreciate the difference under the tongue the uh, aptus ulcer ulcers have gone the inner side of the lip that also you see it is very very clear okay many times we have in our clinics patients coming sneezing sneezing and doctor saab mai itna chikta hu there is so much of sneezing i become weak i become debilitated so i thought i should share this rubric many times in allergic rhinitis you know you have this rubric generalities weakness sneezing from okay i feel tired sneezing sneezing please think of sabadilla beautiful remedy sabadilla okay so from the image you see that this girl is saying no to food but what i want is many times we have mothers coming to our clinic especially in acute and they tell sir whenever i offer food to the child the child becomes very angry he is not like that when he is healthy when he is sick you know he becomes very angry when food is offered you would have encountered this in many many cases so what is the rubric or how do you convert this into rubric is very very important so how do we convert this under rubric okay so there is a rubric you know which i use this in my clinic very often 
So I thought I should share this. This rubric is what I've learned from uh, Vijaykar sir, you know, and sir would always uh, talk of this rubric, especially in Accures. Anger when obliged to eat. And single remedy is arsenic. So we'll come to the concluding part. So what I was trying to tell you before I take up any questions from your end, a single remedy rubric from the cases that we saw, it can be an ailment. You just saw that it can be an ailment or, or, or it can be a PQRS, a PQRS relating to the mind or a PQRS relating to the physical gender. Like we saw, like for example, anger when obliged to eat, fear on account of passing stool. Okay, child is afraid to pass stools because of fear. That was more of mental. Weakness out of sneezing can be more of general, physical general. And then you also saw something particular. We saw uh, one of our uh, good friend, Dr. Suketu, has uh, uh, commented in the chat box, apte under tongue. Okay. Beautiful interpretation. Okay. Very good friend. Uh, thank you for joining. So, uh, uh, you know, what is this? Apte under tongue was more of a particular thing. So a single remedy rubric can be an ailment, a mental or a physical or a particular. Uh, it can be, it can be, you know, uh, thought of on those areas. Now the concluding thing here is, what care you should take when you are selecting a single remedy rubric? See, many of you after listening this, you'll be charged up, you'll be geared up. But, but as a homeopath, when you're using a single remedy rubric, you need to be a little careful. I wish I could have had an interaction, but uh, there is a time constraint. So we'll, I'll just go with the PPT and we'll have a small discussion in the end. See, when you're taking a single remedy rubric, just make sure the rubric is reliable. Now, what do I mean when I say the rubric should be reliable? How do you decide if the rubric that you have taken is reliable or not? As I've just told you, when you are in doubt, please go to the source books. Go back to the Materia Medica, Dr. Clark, Dr. Honeyman, Dr. Borik, Allen, Dr. Herring, Dr. Fartax, beautiful. You might have many more uh, Materia Medicas. Please go confirm where exactly or who exactly has contributed and just see how authentic it is. So reliability is very important and uh, precise searching. If you just see many of the things you could uh, uh, connect with my, uh, uh, you know, rubric selection. So what is very important is you need to have that precision, which my sir would tell in searching and to have a precision in searching, you should have a sound knowledge, okay? So having a sound knowledge and willingness to accept, adapt. Don't be like a horse. And Dr. Hanuman sir has told in aphorism number six, never be an unprejudiced observer, okay? Or, hope you are all listening to it properly. You should, you should always be, always be unprejudiced. Don't be prejudiced. Oh, this case has come. This is the remedy. Don't jump. Just check. Form a small totality and then prescribe. So not being prejudiced is very, very important. And homeopathy, as many of you know, it's a big question. It's a beautiful science. So keep updating. Keep studying. Okay. And you need to have good observation skills. I'll just share uh, two small uh, cases you know, which can be of uh, use. See, when I say observation, it's very, very important. How the patient is talking, how the patient is behaving, all those things becomes very, very important. Uh, I would like to credit this uh, thing to one of my assistants, Dr. Varshini. I hope she's uh, here. See, like, you know, we had one uh, patient who would keep rubbing his forehead. Whenever we ask a question, no, he used to keep rubbing his forehead. So she came up with a rubric and, you know, again, it is there in synthesis. Whenever he had to concentrate on something, he used to keep rubbing his forehead. So there is a rubric 
concentration you know when concentrating they keep rubbing their forehead and single remedy rubric there is heliborus and we confirmed lot of other things he had aversion to vegetables which came up later and heliborus was prescribed with beautiful results so what what may dr varshini think of heliborus is her observation that whenever i was asking question you know he would just keep rubbing his forehead he was trying to focus and then he would try to answer we confirmed even in his class when he is taking notes when he is writing he keeps rubbing his forehead that is heliborus we had another lady of ignisia who would sigh at the end of weeping she would weep and then she would sigh that was a beautiful observation and she was prescribed ignisia so having a good observe observation and having a sound knowledge and applying that is very very important so to conclude we have different ways of arriving at a similimum there are many ways and i know all of you are uh, great prescribers great practitioners and today i have shown you a sample where we can also arrive at a similimum using a single remedy rubric so this yes. is my youtube channel which i keep uh, uploading very often so dr vijay krishna's lecture is the youtube channel and at the end of the session what objectives i had i hope it is clear advantages disadvantages and justifying with the cases so i thank uh, ifpf for uh, giving me this opportunity special thanks to dr gurukiran he was insisting i should present on this platform and on a sunday 250 plus participants you have joined i appreciate your uh, enthusiasm to learn and wish you all the very best and uh, i would like to thank my teacher dr munish sir who has played a beautiful role in my teaching career my principal dr uh, guru prasad sir and uh, these are my details if at all you have anything in future you are, i am always there so thank you and uh, yes any questions question, those who would like to participate please go to the participants participants listen raise your hand now was a wonderful uh, presentation according to his qualification md phd professor and pg gate yes in fact he is a real professor in in action no doubt about that wonderful presentation beautifully compiled and nicely narrated and also we must appreciate the participant whose response are more than 100 100 part uh, uh, this uh, replies in the chat box we can so those who would like to participate please go to the participants and raise your hand Of course, we all know that the the relevance of the material medical, the lens, how far it is genuine. The the single rubrics, they are also very very useful. Not like the the other proof, the proving in the other groups of other systems of medicine. Each and every symptom has got its own importance, its own significance. So, what is treated is our we have to develop. a sound philosophical knowledge as well as a potential to observe there is a hanuman right to said the exactness the, the special circumspection tact knowledge of human nature that is also very important moreover the unprejudiced observer should be unprejudiced don't think what is with this uh, this frowning of face or this rubbing of forehead with this condition with that condition Sir, I have got some pressure to pass over. No, this is not how we put it. We have to depend upon what is special in this case of disease. That is more important. Anyway, nice presentation. We are expecting more questions from you. If you like to participate, please raise your hand. For the participants, raise your hand. Sir, what about the potency, dose, repetition, and all these things? Sir, uh... continuation also. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, to be very honest, uh, uh, all the cases we had given a single dose. Yeah. And two uh, hundred was the potency used in uh, uh, cases where no source were not used. Cefalinam, Medornam case that I have shared. Yeah. There I have given one m, and okay. it is single dose. And uh, you you have seen the results. Uh, what I uh, like to say, if at all you have any questions, because. 
Many questions we have already answered in the chat box. Yes. And uh, it was a beautiful interaction from the audience. I thoroughly enjoyed the session. And if at all you have any questions, please feel free. So, so just yes, of course, we when when going through or listening all your presentation, what short closer is right? Wisdom, patience, and courage. The most important thing. What what is needed? Wisdom, patience, and courage. And you did succeed because you very carefully, scrupulously analyzed, and you just reached the right, the exact point to find out the 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 not the medicine but the remedy. Yes, Dr. Pranav is there. Please unmute again. Yes. Pranav, yeah, please. Uh, hello, I'm uh, Dr. Pranav Mumbai. I'm uh, 94 past. I started my clinic in Borivali, Mumbai. One lady had come in uh, with a small four years, four month old child and she had a vomiting. So no clue, vomiting. Every remedy in Morik Madri remedy has a vomiting. Yeah, yeah. Please go but, ahead. You are listening? Listening? Yes, please continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please go ahead. It's audible. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I opened Borik Padri and I opened the chair of stomach vomiting. So mm -hmm. many remedies and bone symptoms are given. The yes. first symptom given was fits of anger in mother. Fits of mm -hmm. anger in mother and she has done the nursing. Yes. So I thought, let me ask her. Gujarati lady, four-month mm -hmm. child. I mm -hmm. asked her whether, do you had any quarrel with your mother-in-law? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, please. I think he's got the lost the connection. So yeah, it was. Are you there, Doctor Pranav? Yes, nice oh. case. Maybe yes. He got the audio, also audio connection. That's what happened. Yes. Okay, there are few questions, uh, sir. Uh, can I take up the questions? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. See, like for example. Uh, uh, there are like questions, many children having aversion to vegetables, can we consider that in totality? Okay. See, Dr. Sachin, there is a rubric, generalities, food, vegetable aversion too. If you feel it is very strong, like many times in, in my clinic, no, mother says, when we put it to the curry, the child keeps all the vegetables aside. He takes only that liquid and he eats. None of the vegetables you will touch, raw, boiled, cooked, whatever. So I have definitely used this rubric because there are a good number of uh, drugs under that particular uh, rubric and it can help you in the totality. Okay. And I uh, hope I am clear, Dr. Sachin. And then we have uh, yes. one uh, Mazrina. Yes. Doc, uh, yeah, so her question is, when you dispense the medicine, yeah. did you use globules or water dose? Madam, I generally use uh, globules, okay? I honestly have no experience with water dose. And uh, yes, there is a question. I advise by any man, whenever yeah. there is any urgency is needed, if you yeah. want, you can dissolve the medicine water. That's medicine. A... Yes. Sir. But uh, in all the cases, uh, globules did wonders, so I did not uh, get the opportunity to use water dose. And Dr. Sunil has a question, sir, need some clarity on reputation of medicines in acute cases. See, uh, I generally use single dose, but, but if the same situation continues, there is no harm in repeating. And for example, if our previous remedy has not helped, I have not hesitated to change also. So it's a very small uh, uh, time frame I keep. I'll yes. just see how the patient is improving after my medication. Yes, sir. If there is no improvement, I uh, don't hesitate even to change. Yes, if sir. There is some good happening. I repeat. If there yes. is no good happening, especially in acutes, please don't uh, wait. Okay, yes, sir. Don't waste time. That's the most important. Don't waste time. Now, Dr. Pranav is back. Dr. Pranav, please ask. Please come. Acha, you, uh, you uh, my network was not there. You got the rubric, no? That single remedy, uh, anger after uh, vomiting, valerian. Uh. Yes. Uh, yes, correct. Now uh, I work with some Calcutta College homeopaths, Dr. Gayakwad and Dr. Samant. They were uh -huh. in Mumbai. Gayakwad mm -hmm. was the dean of my college, Kolhapur. Mm -hmm. Gayakwad, uh, they all were taught by Dr. BK Boss. Okay. So Gayakwad, sir, used to say if physical symptoms, 30 potency, mm -hmm. physical and mental, 200, 
Only hmm. mental, one M. That okay. is the rule. Yes. yes. That's what yes. guy codes are used to say. Ah. Mm-hmm. So that is they were they were students of BK Boss, Calcutta. Mm. Good, good. So uh, mm-hmm. this is just to Dr. Krishna. Uh, because uh, uh, even if it is single remedy and 200 potency is good enough but uh, this is how this uh, simple thing correct correct agree sir okay thank you dr pranav dr dr ramadevi ambadi madam please unmute dr ramadevi ambadi please unmute yes sir i have got a doubt for yes, ailment sir. from bad news we have mm-hmm. got two medicines calcarea cub as well as delcinium in synthesis okay. delcinium is delcinium is given four marks mm-hmm. and calcarea cup mm-hmm. three marks why did you okay. especially in this vertigo case why did mm-hmm. you select uh, delcinium instead of calcarea cup okay uh, sorry, to, calcarea yeah, cup yeah. instead of delcinium okay okay ma'am to keep it very simple the rub uh, the repertory that i had used synthesis that mm-hmm. repertory did not show delcinium okay that repertory which i have shared the repertorial sheet also with you that repertory shows only calcarea cup then but in my repertory in this yeah, yeah. now what i have also tried to tell you when you use uh, different repertories just I make see, sure I know. Hmm. yeah yeah who has contributed okay. for example yes, if you have heaviness of eyes and if you have other symptoms of gelsemium for example gelsemium would have had more of fear more of fright okay and there would have been more of uh, uh, heaviness of eyes and those things heaviness of eyes is a very important differentiating factor for us in gelsemium oh, eye, okay. yeah, yeah. I, in acute yeah. i don't prescribe gelsemium if there is no heaviness of eyelids i see okay so please keep okay. that point in your mind and it can be of great help in practice vertigo and giddiness is important in gelsemium also no that's why yes. okay yes, sir okay, okay. Yeah. thank you thank you thank you yes. so any any quick questions with the four minutes remaining sir one or two questions in the chat box sir in chronic conditions if an acute attack comes in between how often you should yeah yeah. yeah so dr sai krishna has got a very valid question see like you know for example in a chronic condition when an acute attack comes so just make sure what is the acute condition that has come up okay See, many times it will be indisposition. Many times you will be having a new moon or full moon in a day or two. So as a thumb rule, when we have indisposition or when we have a moon phase in and around, we don't prescribe. So see the vitality of the patient. How yes. is his generals? How is he doing? In spite of all that, if you feel there is a genuine need for prescribing an acute, feel free. There's nothing wrong. Generally, what I do in my clinic is, I have uh, Vijay Karsa's theory of acutes. We have a small app. We use that app. And we'll also see the relationship of our uh, uh, constitution medicine that we have given. So, for example, it can be a case of uh, calcarea. So, some acute comes. We don't hesitate, if required, to give a dose of belladonna. If belladonna is covering the totality. Yes, sir. So, what I suggest personally is, please look at the relationship of the chronic remedy if it has definitely helped make an acute totality look into the relationship chart and then yes. you can uh, uh, yes. uh, you know prescribe definitely need a sound knowledge of homeopathic philosophy dr dr sandosh please send me dr sandosh yes yes good evening dr vijay sir good evening sir not much questions i would like to just congratulate you for your wonderful presentation within Thank a short so span of time you could able to explain everything including the a for some number 5 and yes, the importance of the exciting course very good yes, very good. Well, congratulations thank you so much and, uh, and uh, it was nice having you i didn't expect you will also join yeah, yeah because of many, you was here <laughs> many seniors also have joined so we have a lot of seniors from uh, gujarat you know, dr jitesh dr sukendu lot of uh, yes, senior people joining it was my pleasure yes sir now yes, dr tanesh please dr tanesh you can unmute 2 minutes remain dr tanesh please Uh, good evening dr vijay sir it's really a yes, wonderful sir. presentation once again uh, thank you so much sir really we are really happy to have such a session on the uh, on this day of demise of our master and yes, uh, uh, something great it is way uh, we can give such a tribute to uh, our master or this uh, forum uh, we we request you to 
will come again uh, for such uh, presentation so that everybody can understand what is uh, the difference between single remedy and other kind of prescriptions you have shown beautifully. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, sir. Pleasure, sir. Yes. Dr. Santan Raj, are you there? Dr. Santan Raj. Yes. You can play your opinion as well as order. Uh, yes, please. Dr. Vijay, Dr. Vijay Krishna, sir. Sir, you're not going to be able Dr. Vijay Krishna, sir, you heard such a wonderful presentations. Uh, I have uh, no doubt in your presentation. Everything is explained in clearly within a short span of time. Okay, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for joining, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, you can ex express the formal word of thanks, Dr. Sandan Raj. Dr. Sandan Raj is the professor of material medical and government homeopathy medical college Tirumangalam. Dr. Sandan Raj, please. Yeah, yeah, sir. Yeah, I already, already contacted with Dr. Vijay Krishna, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, okay. You should also come with the presentations. We are expecting more from you. Okay. Yeah, okay, sir. Sure. Yes. Anyway, nice presentation with uh, this really a tribute to, as Dr. Thanesh rightly said, Dr. Samuel Henneman in his 200, 180. Birthday, isn't it? Uh, death anniversary, a monumental presentation, no doubt about that. And a single medicine, the minimum dose, all these things are working. Although we said some the atmosphere is different, the pollution is there, this is there, that is there, the food is different. But what is more important is the similar medicine, the remedy is the most important thing. With the remarks, let me conclude today's English edition. Hope you to meet the same day tomorrow. Till then, goodbye. And it is all from Sanesh for a continuation program in Malayalam. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'll...